Welcome to the latest video. Uh, today we are going to be covering the uh, idea of a rational number and how we can express integers and fractions as rational numbers. So before we begin, we're going to have to define what a rational number is. So a rational number A rational number is a number which can be written as m over n, where m and n are integers, with n not equal to zero. So that means that any number is a rational number if it could be written as a fraction. Because the, the term rational, my term rational, comes from ratio. And a rational number is a number that can be written as a ratio of an integer to a non-zero integer. Now remember, integers are positive or negative whole numbers. So these fractions have to be whole numbers. So let's give an example. Let's take 1 and 1 half. Now it's not currently written as m over n, but it is written currently as a fraction. We need to write this as an improper fraction in order to show that it is a rational number. So I know that 1 and 1 half equals 3 and 1 half. So I know that 1 half is a rational number. What about the number 3? How do I write 3 as a rational number? Remember, when any number is divided by 1, you get the same number back. So if I divide 3 by 1, it equals 3. So I can write 3 as m over n, therefore showing that 3 is a rational number. So I know that any whole numbers are going to have 1 in the denominator. Let's try a few other problems. Let's say I have the number number negative 45. Now, I know when I did my problem before, when I had 3, I put 3 over 1 because 3 divided by 1 gives you 3. The same thing also works for negative numbers. So to show that a negative number is a rational number, you are going to put the negative number over 1. So all negative integers will also have 1 in the denominator. All right, but what about those mixed numbers? So let's work with 11 and 7 ninths. So if I have 11 and 7 ninths, in order to show this as a, a rational number, I have to make it into an improper fraction. So it's probably a good idea for us to review how we make this into an improper fraction. Now remember, an improper fraction means that the top of my fraction is bigger than the bottom of my fraction. I currently have a mixed fraction, or a mixed number, because I have a whole number and I have a fraction. So that's my mixed number. Let's make our, take our mixed number and make it into a improper fraction. So I know that I have 11 holes. But I've broken these 11 holes into pieces of 9. So in order to figure out how many total pieces of 9, or size 9, I have in 11 holes, I have to take my 11, and I'm going to multiply it by 9 to see how many pieces it took to make 11 holes. And then I'm going to have to add on the 7 ninths extra. So 11 times 9 is 99. So I have 99 ninths plus 7 ninths gives me a total of 106 ninths. So as I see, I can take my mixed number and I can make it into an improper fraction to prove that 11 and 7 ninths is a rational number. And then my last example, it's a little bit tricky, a little bit finicky. So let's talk about negative 16 21st. So I, right now I have this extra negative sign. I don't quite know where this goes. In order to prove that this is a rational number, I need to assign this negative 
to either the numerator or the denominator. So there's two possible solutions to this. So I can assign the make negative 16 and make the, the numerator negative or I can make the denominator negative. But remember, you have to have an integer on the top and the bottom. So that's how we can express integers and fractions in m over n form to show that we have a rational number.